everybody. Welcome to our video. May I offer you a nice cup of pens? Anybody? Anybody? They're full of ink and it tastes good. Okay. Anyway, this week we are doing um, Rick and Morty since they just came out. So um, I decided to mash up all of our themes together into one giant time travel society. And we're going to be starting off by coloring Rick. In case you guys don't know, Rick and Morty is supposed to be a satire of the originals. Um, gosh, what are their names? What are their names? I watched the movies like a thousand times. Um, Alright, Marty and Doc Brown. Anyway, Rick is um, Doc Brown if he was hopped up on alcohol all the time and the knowledge of the universe was just too much to bear. And Morty is kind of a stressed out, neurotic Marty, who home situation is actually tellingly better um, off the bat than Marty's original situation was. I actually like the show a lot. I know you're going to hear me say, say this throughout the entire commentary, but I think it's really funny. I think it's original. And I'm glad to see it come back for a second season since uh, Coach Network left us hanging for about half a year, not knowing whether or not it will come back for a second season. I, I like the DVD um, commercial, especially where they had Mr. Meesinks come in and everybody was in puppet form. I found that puppets are actually starting to become very popular for some odd reason. Especially in the new Goosebumps movie coming out, I'm so looking forward to that. Even though I didn't really like him as a child, but I love anything with Jack Black in it, so it evens out. Also recently I started drawing some comic strips. If you guys actually want to see them, the link will be in the description below. And I know you guys have been hearing me yammering on about the Ink Club and stuff. That's that's my collection, that's my strip of all the OC characters I've been doing recently. So eat your heart out, you guys will eventually get to see the story come out. Anyway, I also um, hit a major milestone. Earlier this summer, I wanted to reach at least 30 subscribers. And right now, I am halfway to my goal, to my goal. so thank you all. Thank you all 15 of my subscribers. And. Um, if I get up to 30 by the end of August, I will put out a special video a day early. But I really want to hear what you guys want me to do. Do you want to see another um, top 10 countdown list? Do you want to see another speed art? Well, this one technically isn't a speed art. And most of all, do you actually want to see me do some something else other than just art? Do you want another um, Mr. Fantastic? and Mrs. Fantastic play Twister thing. And if anything, I'm actually thinking of doing some commentaries with a couple of my good friends to come in who are, to me, cartoon experts. Who are going on to have meaningful lives and or careers in business and finances. Ha ha ha. I also started going through some of my older animes again and I noticed how, how, mu how many cartoons have actually been influenced by it. At least in the last five or so years, especially Adventure Time and Regular Show and Steven Universe. I think it's nice. I just wish we could um, push more of that and brainwash more of our young viewers with some more anime. And I'm super glad that they brought back Toonami for the last three years. Since I like, I actually got on the bandwagon of Toonami during maybe its final days. And I was upset when I found out that it actually got canceled besides it being a daytime thing with the terrible, terrible face. Terrible face. Why did you give him, why did you take away his visor, why? I'm sorry. I, I had a flashback. I'm okay now, just gonna sip my pens. Sip my pens. Most of all, I also um, like the Rick and Morty series just about how somewhat realistically they have the parents and 
not all parents and relationships straight out of high school are going to be the most peachy, but I'm sad that um, it's always destined to be a terrible marriage. Though I can't see that Beth takes after her father a lot, especially towards Summer and Jerry. And Jerry's voiced by the wonderful Cyril from Archer. Which again, I'm still a fan of. We will have another analysis video of either Mallory, Cheryl, or Archer himself. Tell me below in the comment section, again, what you want to see. Just say it. I'm not going to pressure you. Okay, I'm going to pressure you. Please, please, please pick any one of them. Let me know in the comments which one you want to see and how else I can improve these videos. And tell me what your favorite parts of them are. And if I can hope so in the future, I really do want to get together with some more um, people to do like a short animated thing. Or at least a review like with the second opinion. Yes, I'm calling you out. I'm calling you out, buddy. Thanks for the support. And um, there's a girl up there named the Dapper Dragon. You need to check her out on DeviantArt. Once again, her link will be in the description. See, what else can I tell you guys? Oh, a Nicktoons video is going to be coming out soon. And we have three options of what we're making. We may have a My Little Pony hat. We may have a Chowder hat. Or, or, we may even make a Blue Jay hat from Mordecai. But let me know in the comments what you want. Thanks so much for watching. Bye, bye, bye.